It uses microwave energy. It's actually less power, in fact, a hundredth the power of a cell phone. So using only a little bit of energy, we can actually detect heartbeats and breathing within about 20 feet of rubble. So it could be many floors of a building that have collapsed, uh, or it could be from up to 100 feet away, just through open space. Um, any kind of a tool like that, we would pick up and uh, love to be able to use it as part of our, our cache that we have because we have lots of different tools in our cabinet that we use for different types of collapse structures and things like that, and that would be just an additional one we'd, we'd pick up if it uh, you know continues to develop. Overall, they see it as a significant improvement over the current technology. Um, right now, there's not really anything that works well to detect unconscious or non-responsive victims. Uh, they use microphones. To listen, and of course, to do that, you, the person has to be making some sort of noise. Uh, if the person is unconscious, they're not going to make noise. Because remember, these are these people have seen a lot of magic boxes over the years. So people claim to say, "Hey, we've got this magic box that's going to make life easier for you." So they're it's a pretty hard, high bar to meet.